First thing first, we need to know what uh, API Portal 2 use. So I'm going to use Afterburner for that, which is, I don't know, the fast uh, way to know it. You launch the game, you go Afterburner Overlay, and it is a DX9 game. Okay. As you can see here, exit. So we are going to install Reshade on Portal 2. Okay. We search for Portal 2 here or you can browse it if you know the path we have seen that it uses uh, DirectX 9 ok, we can go full repository, no problem with that let it download, ok Now, uh, for Portal 2, I don't know why, but you have to copy DX9 DLL to bin folder. I don't know uh, it's a device uh, order, something like that. You see in a bin there are all the DX support, uh, all the DLL. Okay, after uh, you have copied that. You start portal. To see if it works. If it works uh, in the top, on the top you'll see an overlay saying uh, reshade is now installed successfully. Okay. Press home to start the tutorial. Uh, I'm going to skip the tutorial this time. You see, I have no shaders here, uh, because I have to tweak the settings. Go in settings, effect uh, search path, delete this one, add a new one, go back. You need to, to look for uh, reshade shaders, which is there. And shader, okay. Same with textures. Go back one step. This reshade shaders texture. Okay. Now I want to add an effect toggle key. I usually put it on pause. Uh, I want a bigger font. Okay, because I'm at uh, 4K, 4K resolution. You hit reload. You see the shaders are here. Let's check hello, the log if, to see if there are any words or errors. No. Okay. After that, go in game. Okay, we are in game. To set up reshade properly, we need uh, display depth here. We put it on top. Okay, you see there is no depth, depth buffer detection here. So we are uh, trying to reverse, no? With the X9 games, you have to go to the DX9 tab if you see no depth buffer after changing the display depth value because you have to tick maybe copy depth buffer and now you see, now you'll see the depth buffer and which is this one, okay let's select it 
No, it's the first. We leave the first, which is uh, all right. Uh, let's go back back to display depth. We have uh, selected the uh, depth input is reversed to zero. If you put that, if you put that to one, it is uh, not correct. Go to zero. You have to copy now those values in edit global preprocessor definitions. You see, here is one. We go zero. Zero. Okay. To check if it's all uh, set up correctly, click uh, Use Global Preprocessor Definitions. If it doesn't change, it's uh, all right. Now you have the depth buffer. Okay. Uh, I want to show you that uh, also. If you have uh, the in-game anti-aliasing activated, it will uh, mess up your depth buffer. You see, here is none. I have uh, the depth, bu depth buffer. Okay. If you go full anti-aliasing mode, apply. Let's go display depth. You see, you have no depth buffer. Uh, Reshade can't correctly read the buffer because of uh, MSAA, you see here. So, oops. always leave it off. You see, now it works. 